Hello and thank you for joining us on TBC News at 7. We're staying in Rivers State where the governor of uh, Rivers, Sinulai Fubara, has assured that security agencies will conduct a thorough investigation into the cause of a tank explosion in LMA local government. At least four persons were killed in the incident and multiple vehicles burned. Our correspondent Uchi Okuru has more on this. Not too pleasant news again from the Eleme on air axis of the east-west road, which has been in deplorable condition for many years. The rehabilitation project began recently, but the hazards associated with heavy-duty trucks plying the road have not abated. In this latest accident, a container truck collided with a fuel tanker, leading to a leak and an explosion. To my greatest surprise, I saw my vehicle in the midst of all this, all the bond car, the one at the front bond, the one by the side bond, the one behind bond. Before then, I've actually put a call, I put a call across to my family, telling my wife that the vehicle has already been engulfed by fire. But to my greatest surprise, divinely, I came and saw the car. My car is the only car that was not burnt yesterday. We passed the tanker. The next thing we heard was, please run for your life, run for your life. There is a spillage. And that was how we started running in the night. We ran. After 10 minutes, what we heard was explosion. And the next thing, we saw the fire flowing from one car to another. That was what we saw. I don't know how God did this. I just want to say thank you because I was right here. At least four persons died and about 100 vehicles were burned. The heavy traffic gridlock also played a part in the extensive damage and loss of lives. Governor Simnalai Fubara inspected the scene and promised a full-scale investigation. I have already asked the agency, the agency to give us a full brief so that we can come into the situation fully by seeing how much we can support the families that are bereaved. The people are not happy. They are once again lamenting the poor condition of the road leading to several critical economic assets like the refinery and the seaports. <laughs> In spite of the state of this axis of the east-west road and concerns about the pace of work, the state government is appealing to motorists to exercise caution while the reconstruction project continues. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Eleme. Well, for more on this, I'm being joined by the sector commander, FRSC, Christopher Kujie, to bring us more updates on this incident good to have you on the news yes we we're able to to the glory of god we we're able to manage the situation uh, successfully uh, we had a crane uh, through one of our stakeholders who succeeded in pulling uh, all the trucks from the road what we're doing now is to remove uh, all the carcasses that were left by the uh, side of the road using low bed so that is what uh, we are doing right away. This uh, accident is due to the poor condition of the stretch of the highway. Tell us exactly what immediate terms or immediate solution the sector command is doing or short-term solution the command is doing to prevent a reoccurrence of such magnitude. All right. Uh, uh, today, the, the governor... Uh, called me and then the uh, commissioner of police and then uh, gave us the directive to ensure that this very particular uh, obstruction is cleared before six o'clock which we succeeded in uh, carrying out and then uh, further to this we want to uh, organize a stakeholders meeting uh, also, to, that will involve not just the Federal Road Safety Corps, uh, but will involve both the Federal Road Safety Corps, uh, Nigerian police, other stakeholders, and as well as the LMA local government and the state government itself, so that we will be able to put our heads together and bring out a solution that will ensure this kind of thing does not happen again. 
Emirates. The sector commander, FRSC, Christopher Kouge. We appreciate your updates there from Rivers.